What is up, everybody? It's me, Senator Ben, and today my sister and I are going to a WWE house show in Winnipeg. Oh, it's gonna be good. We're gonna watch some WWE wrestlers. Ooh, 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 sorry. WWE superstars. Should be a wonderful time. And also to see Brock Lesnar. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah. And Brock Lesnar lives in uh, Maryfield, Saskatchewan. That's pretty much close to Manitoba. I wish I changed my pants here, though. Oh, look at that. Just fucking dirty knees. Haha. <laughs> right, everyone's gonna be making jokes about that now. Hmm. But honestly, what if, uh, what if one of the WWE divas approached me and tried to hit on me and then they see these dirty ass things? Like, I would have no chance in hell. Well, we finally made it. So my sister and I thought we were gonna be half, uh, like a little bit late to this event, but we made it just on time. So, that's good. There's all the fans. Everyone's getting out of their car, going to the event. That should be a good one. Look, we uh, parked at the same church we did for the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. It's gonna be a good show. And sorry about all my acne. I know. It's not so sweet. I'm kind of worried about wearing my uh, Bullet Club gear to this. Um, since that whole Vince McMahon and the uh, Young Bucks um, incident. Oh well. I'll just uh, button it up and put my bandana away if things happen to escalate. It's my sister fighting with her hug boots. <laughs> just kidding. Did I even get the hug boots? There they are. Oh, my arm's in the way. Oh, can't. Uh, sorry. <laughs> There's line up for the house show. <laughs> awesome. That guy's white and Jay hoodie. Woo! <laughs> Well, got through the security. And you want We're getting a beer. <laughs> oh look, it's the nature boy. Woo! Here we are. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to really record. <laughs> we made it. Hmm. Oh, you forgot your sign. No, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Too sweet. <laughs> got my pocket, don't worry. There's the ring and everything. Woo! Woo! Hello, everyone. This is Kurt Anker, the general manager of Raw. Welcome Woo! to the night show. Get on with it! Get on with it! Get on with it! 
Suplex City. Woo! There we go. Honestly, uh, Seamus put up a pretty good fight here. <laughs> to be honest. Jeez. Woo! It's awesome. Waiting in line for the merch. <laughs> Same again. Woo! How oh, sweet! Oh wait, no, not how. Jeez, too sweet there. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> There's all the merch. Hope they get my Roman Reigns shirt. Oh, just in time for the Miz's match. Awesome. Woo! Oh, come on. The Miz is just stalling now. <laughs> well, the Miz won again. He beat Jason Jordan. He's still the Intercontinental Champion. And there goes Jason Jordan. Woo! Because there are real, outrageous, <sighs> inspiring heroes all around us. This is kind of gay, Just WWE. <laughs> nice! Ron fucking Strowman! Woo! He's like an ant. There we go. Crush them. Crush them. Take that. Oh, get ready for the boo train. Oh, I'm filled with ghosts here. Boo this man! Boo him! Well, Braun Strowman uh, lost by disqualification from uh, Roman Reigns. That's literally two uh, disqualifications. Oh. Now Braun's beating the crap out of Roman. The staircase. Nice. Well, um, Roman Reigns just uh, speared Braun Strowman through a table, so that's uh, pretty neat. Now it's time to get out here and go pee. Ooh, just at the vendor buying some booze. Yeah, it was a pretty nice show. I'll talk more about it later. Well, I'm back in Brandon. WWE put on a pretty good house show at the MTS Center. The only thing is, I noticed at the merch tent, they had um, Universal Title replicas. And they were like 400 fucking dollars. Um, I guess that's a good reasonable price, but why would you want to buy that belt? This is the ugliest fucking looking belt in the world. Like, ugh. It looks like a giant maxi pad. Seriously, it's just... Fucking jam colored. It's ugh. Who came up with that design? Like, fuck. People actually went and paid for hundred dollars to have that belt. Ugh. Oh well. Each to their own taste, I guess. Oh yeah, it was a pretty good show. And they had, for some reason, they had a squash match with a uh, Sheamus and Brock Lesnar. And. Sheamus actually put on a pretty good show fighting Brock Lesnar. They should have them in a pay-per-view. But, whatever. Brock still beat him, though, of course. But, yes, that was a that was a fun night. And now I'm going to a uh, superhero photo contest thing. I don't know what it's called. It's for charity, I guess. They're trying to uh, break a world record for most uh, people dressed up in a comic book outfit, I guess. Well, hopefully we'll uh, go there. Just waiting for uh, Miss Fuzzy Mittens to get a booster juice and I rap. Oh, she's pissed off at me because I let one of her cats out. <laughs> uh, I'm sure the thing's going to be back anyways. 
Oh, look at all the villains and superheroes here. Yeah, we're not even dressed up and... Can we, can we go in yet or... Not yet? Uh, just a witness, I guess. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to have to ask you to abide by our shuffle with people around and stay pretty much out of the way. Once things get moving. Instead of uh, going around taking pictures, we decided to try to join them, so we're dressing up like Fiona and Jake. Hopefully they allow that. I don't know why they win, because they're awesome, and I consider them to be superheroes. Who is actually trying to get Princess Bubblegum's hair? <laughs> no, it doesn't miss Fuzzy Mittens look lovely. Woo! She's practical. Look at her with her backpack. Woo! There we go. But technically, if you want to get technical, <laughs> Even some of the villains have become heroes at times. Oh yeah, that's for true. Or as J.R.R. The Hound? <laughs> J.R.R. Martin has said that the villain is pretty much... Oh my god, that is the coolest Batmobile. That is the coolest Batmobile. Look at that. Okay, hands down. Fuck Tim Burton's Batmobile. Fuck uh, Joel Schumacher's. That's the best Batmobile. <laughs> that is winner. winner. That is winner in my heart. I hope they consider it too. Like the lady said, they gotta verify. Well, ain't that some shit. Apparently they don't consider Adventure Time characters as superheroes. Oh well, mm, I tried to take a photography there too, but apparently I still had to be in a costume to do that. Well, good luck to them with their record breaking deal. I'm not mad at them or anything. I know they had a strict code. It's, it's fine. But wrestling was good though. So this is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all again next time.